Aether and Empire is a Victorian era science fiction adventure story that's part Jules Verne, part Star Trek. It follows a group of British sailors, soldiers, and scientists on an expedition to Mars to find the fate of the first expedition, which has mysteriously disappeared. While space travel using only Victorian technology is certainly fraught with obstacles, the main conflict in Aether and Empire comes from the differences in ideology between our scientists, who are looking to advance their understanding of the universe, and the military men who have seen the horrors of war and understand that the unknown can be terrifying and dangerous. Aether and Empire began life as a screenplay, one that was influenced by a number of different sources. Obviously, Jules Verne and H.G. Wells, the fathers of science fiction, but also more modern creators like Gene Roddenberry and Alan Moore. I've always loved epic space stories. Gritty pulp fiction stories from guys like Mickey Spillane, stories of um, British colonialism like The Four Feathers, films like Zulu, and Ether and Empire is a combination of all those. I always considered Ether and Empire a film, but the guys at Blue Juice Comics immediately recognized its potential as a comic book. So I reworked the script and it worked out pretty easy because the story has a series of natural cliffhangers that lend itself to the episodic structure of a comic book. Ether and Empire has action, adventure, mystery, danger, and I really hope that the readers enjoy it.